When it comes to the sights and sounds of big time college football, nothing can match the pomp and pageantry of the Holiday Bowl, a spectacle as thrilling as the game itself. The 13th edition of America's most exciting bowl game would showcase two of the country's top programs, a Texas A&M aggregation that performs with all the flair and precision of the school's famed fighting Texas A&M Aggie Band, and a Brigham Young aerial circus symbolized by the dazzling fireworks display directly overhead. This would be a dream matchup pairing opposing superstars, All-American running back Darren Lewis and Heisman Trophy winner Ty Detmer. Only a junior, Detmer has already established himself at the head of the class, and if history is any judge, the Aggies will have their hands full tonight. December 30th, 1988. Another Heisman Trophy winner delights the largest crowd in Holiday Bowl history. Oklahoma State's Barry Sanders rushes for five touchdowns and player of the game honors as the Cowboys crush Wyoming 62-14. However, despite the presence of the Holiday Bowl's second Heisman winner in three years, few predict a blowout. Since the mid-1980s, the Aggies have faced five Heisman holders and have beaten four of them. On the game's first series, the A&M running attack quickly shifts into gear. Crossing up the entrenched defenders, quarterback Bucky Richardson finds Gary Oliver for 25 yards. The pass play is apparently little more than an effective aberration because the next seven plays are all runs directed at the heart of the Cougar defense. Lewis, out of bounds, close to another first down. Lewis, touchdown! Robert Wilson's touchdown caps a 13-play, 80-yard drive, an impressive excursion that sends a clear-cut challenge to the heralded BYU offense. Detmer and company are quick to respond. Just like that, a pair of strikes place the Cougars deep in enemy territory. In an ironic twist, BYU takes a page from the Aggies book, crossing up the defense with a Peter Tui Palutu burst up the middle. Palutu inside the five and down at the four. What a drive by BYU. Two plays later. Detmer throws. Touchdown, Chris Smith. Two offensive series, two touchdowns. Must be the Holiday Bowl. Many of the highest scoring games in history have taken place right here. To prove that point, you have to go all the way back to 1989. <laughs> Penn State and Brigham Young combine for 89 points, setting 15 bowl records in the process. A young quarterback named Ty Detmer completes 42 passes for 576 yards. Nevertheless, the Nittany Lions prevail 50-39 in the best bowl game of the year. 1986. Big Ten powerhouse Iowa battles back to defeat WAC champion San Diego State in a 39-38 slugfest. It takes a Rob Houtland field goal on the game's final play to claim the victory. It is good, and Iowa has won the game. 1981, a furious Washington State comeback nearly erases an apparently insurmountable BYU lead. Brigham Young hangs on to win a thriller 38-36. Appearing in their ninth Holiday Bowl, only too aware of the game's propensity for high point totals, the WAC champs know they must establish a defensive presence against their Southwest Conference foes. A&M's second foray into Cougar territory is short-lived. BYU gets the ball back, and senior Matt Bellini steps into the spotlight. Bellini, first down and much more. And then, after picking up 19, they take the reverse. Denver in trouble. Tries to dump it off, and it's picked off by William Thomas. 
Flag down on the play, and another flag flies in late. The first big defensive play of the game belongs to linebacker William Thomas. It will not be his last. Beginning from the Cougar 35, it will take Bucky Richardson and the Aggies only four plays to reach pay dirt. The punishing Aggie ground game seems virtually unstoppable. Second and four from the six. Lewis gets the block from Wilson. Touchdown! What a block by Wilson to spring Lewis for the touchdown run. But unstoppable is also a choice word for the BYU offense. And three plays later, Ty Detmer shows why. For Charlton, it is caught! They'll spot him down inside the one. There is a flag down at the six-yard line. Unfortunately for BYU, receiver Scott Charlton's reception is disallowed. He ran his pattern just out of bounds and came back on the field to make the catch. The Cougars are forced to punt, and the ramifications of the turnabout quickly become discernible. Instead of a 14-all tie, a and is about to go up by two scores and do it in a manner befitting the Holiday Bowl. From the BYU 6, quarterback Richardson lines up at running back. Richardson, touchdown! A little bit of trickery from the Aggies. 21-7, Texas a and Less than one minute later, the white-clad Texans get the ball back following a safety. Leading by 16, Richardson returns to the air, and Cornelius Patterson does the rest. 55 yards later, AM is poised to break this game wide open and will attempt to do so in a most ironic manner. December 23, 1983. The Missouri Tigers have evidently clinched Holiday Bowl 6, leading by three with just minutes left. Down 17-14, the BYU Cougars battle back. Quarterback Steve Young, one of the nation's premier passers, is called upon to switch jobs with just seconds left in the game. Back to throw, play flicker, intended for Young, at the 15, at the 10, at the 5, he's gone! Oh! Seven years later, BYU on the other side of the football. Pass back to the quarterback. Richardson is wide open. Touchdown AM. Trailing 30 to 7, the shell shocked Cougar offense takes the field. For most teams, such a deficit would spell disaster. However, these are the BYU Cougars, and this is the Holiday Bowl. Everyone in America is aware this game is far from over. However, Unknown to the 62,000 spectators and a national television audience, Ty Detmer is playing with a separated shoulder. Gamely battling an injury that would sideline lesser mortals, Detmer faces the full fury of a blitzing, supercharged defense. Once again, memories waft across the gridiron. Holiday Bowl 7. A national championship is on the line tonight. Bruised and battered, Cougar quarterback Robbie Bosco leads his teammates toward an impossible dream. With less than three minutes left, the legendary Michigan Wolverines have seemingly ended BYU's Cinderella season. But the injured Bosco masterminds an unbelievable drive that culminates in a game-winning score with just seconds left. With memories of Robbie Bosco and a national title almost palpable in the cool night air, Ty Detmer fights his way down the field. If BYU can score now, they'll go a long way toward shifting the momentum. Fourth and sixth from the Aggies 38. Detmer in big trouble, and he's down back at the 29-yard line. Rising to the occasion, linebacker Quentin Coriat deals BYU a stunning blow. The underrated Aggie defense is playing inspired football, a performance match play for play by their offensive counterparts. On both sides of the football, Texas A&M is merely awesome. Richardson throws, touchdown, Shane Garrett. 
In the face of an Aggie avalanche, Ty Detmer takes the field one more time. As long as number 14 is still standing, anything is possible. Detmer moved away from Thomas, now has running room. It's almost like old times. And then, suddenly, it is over. A crushing tackle separates Detmer's other shoulder. The Cougars have been dealt an apparently mortal blow. Nevertheless, BYU scores on the next play. Down 44-14, Cougar faithful refused to throw in the towel. After all, it wasn't so very long ago. December 19, 1980. BYU trails another Southwest Conference foe by 20 points with less than three minutes left. Led by superstar Eric Dickerson, the SMU Mustangs are wrapping up a convincing victory. But suddenly, BYU scores twice in two minutes and gets the ball back with just seconds left. Time for one more play. Somebody said last year the Rose Bowl had the drama, but the Holiday Bowl had the dazzle. And it's got it again tonight. Back to throw, last down. No time on the clock. It's up in the air. It is deep. The most amazing comeback in bowl history. Another milestone for the Holiday Bowl. And sure enough, the scoring in this game is far from over. During the second half, a customary offensive explosion reverberates across Mission Valley. 21 fourth quarter points light up the scoreboard. Unfortunately for Cougar partisans, all of them belong to the Texas A&M Aggies. On this night, the men from College Station will post one of the greatest victories in school history. Lewis in behind another bone-crushing block from Robert Wilson. They hold a fearsome BYU offense, averaging almost 600 yards a game, to the lowest yardage total in Holiday Bowl history, while scoring an incredible 65 points, another bowl record in the process. Bucky Richardson voted the game's MVP. It's a storybook finish to a superlative campaign. Richardson heading for the end zone. For football fans across the country, it's another spectacular holiday bowl, complete with the big plays characteristic of America's most exciting bowl game. And for the bowl itself, the first game of 1990 marks the end of an era and the beginning of something special. For this year, Thrifty Car Rental, an enthusiastic supporter of major college football, comes on board as title sponsor. Altogether, a perfect match. <laughs>